today. I'll begin with the opening statement from Coach and then open the questions. Um, January 27th, I was given the huge opportunity and blessed with the opportunity to be the 19th head football coach here at Florida a &M University. Uh, at the time, as I was hired, um, it was asked by myself to maintain the high, the high level of excellence that this football team has had shown um, over the last four or five years, especially the last two, because um, that was, you know, that's when I joined the staff. Um, you know, what was shown out there today, you know, a, a lot, a lot, a lot more was lost than a football game today. A lot of things, uh, you know, we talk about the things that led to the to the loss today. You know, it was a lot of the same things. Not take care of the football uh, penalties um, and not not being as good as we needed to be situationally. Um, so, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, when you leave your state, you leave the stadium. Um, not good enough. Not not. Not good enough. So you know, you you got you got to make some really really hard decisions internally. Uh, but um, you know, that's that's not a that's not a five and five football team sitting in that locker room. I mean, that's what our record is. But uh, you know, it, it, it's it's uh, above reproach. Just uh, me as a head coach as a, of this football team. Um, the end result of today is, was was not good enough, and, and not not the standard that has been set. Not the standard that I was asked to keep. So. Um, that's all I got. If there's anything else, love to love to answer them. Coach, um, yeah. You know, you look at this team and you go like, what would happen? Have you been able? I know you haven't seen the film yet. Uh, you will look at the film. We all know. But have you been a able in the, the last few minutes between the end of the game and coming here, figure out what would happen? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you, know, you uh, you fumble at the two-yard line. You, you, you fumble a snap, a, a, a day one, day two, day three situation where we work snaps, right? You know, you you fumble, right? You you uh, you, you give up a deep ball on a post on a coverage that we worked the entire week. Um, so, you know what what happened? Um, you, you lose the turnover battle. Um, you lose the big play battle. Um, and uh, then you get a chance to ultimately tie, and, and, and uh, whatever the case may be, and then you then you have a turnover, right? So, you know, I mean, uh, that that uh, you know those, those that, that we 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 had a couple ways to lose this football game, but uh, we we found three to four ways to lose the football game Not again. So, you know, did take care of the ball when we needed to. Um, you know, you know, Kevin Gillis has been as solid as anybody I've had kicking the football in my coaching career. He missed the one, you know. We, we drop, we drop a snap on the punt, you know, and we fumble the ball, in, in what I would call the compete zone, which is inside the twenty, and then you fumble the ball at the two. So it doesn't matter who you're playing, you know, who you're playing, who you who you have on your team, or who you're playing against. You, you do those type of things, you're gonna lose. You're, you're gonna lose football games, right? So, you know, I mean, uh, that's why, right? So, you know, when you when you have errors like that, it's down on the players, you know. That's that's. I'm, I'm, I'm again when I when I stepped in there and, and took this this huge blessing, right? You know those are the things that you know when I was asked to make sure I took care of the small things, right? So, you know, my, you know, I, I'm, my my first job, uh, my my first responsibility as a head football coach is to be responsible for all losses, and then uh, and you know we can't we couldn't catch snap from one side to two, can't catch a punt snap, so that's 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 on me and uh, and, and our staff, right? So not the players. That's me. Coach, the message, uh, Jalen Scott, the band, of course. Hey, how you doing, boss? Okay. Uh, the coach, his message for the last two weeks has been kind of short-term memory, but now it means that more than ever going into classic week. So how do you prepare your guys going into this week? Well, I mean, you know, we, I, was, I was short but sweet in the locker room today uh, after the game. Um, you know, I didn't, it, just was, this didn't, it didn't need to be a, a, a bitch-out session, I guess is probably the best way to say. You know, we, we, we prayed, talked about what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, you know, and then I would just talk to the staff about we gotta make a hard take a hard look at ourselves. Um, so, you know, I you know, you wanna I'm upset, Alum, alumni's upset, rattlers are upset, you know, they'll be more upset if we don't rally ourselves and get ourselves going for next week. But uh, you know, we gotta I, I gotta we gotta figure out what we gotta do today to get ourselves over the hump today and then take care of tomorrow. But you know, again ultimately like it is uh, you know, you, 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 you 
as the head coach of this football team, I got to make sure I take care internally of this football team. That's what I was asked to do. Um, we're five and five. You know, I, I, that's, I haven't done that right now. So I, I got to I, internally, I got to make sure I take care of that. And, um, you know, I might, might have to make some hard decisions. I don't know yet, but, you know, we, we, we're better than this because I've seen it. I've seen it. I've, I've, I've lived it. I've been a part of it. Uh, and, uh, and again, when I was asked for this opportunity and, I, and when I was given this opportunity, I, I said that we want to maintain the standard. So, you know, we're five and five. That, that ain't the damn standard around here. Coach, do you, looking back now with um, the last time out, do you feel like you could have, um, you wish you could have took that back? Or no. What, what went down with well, that? you know, we, we went with the timeout. We lost a timeout offensively. You know, that, that left, us, left us with one. Um, it was third and eight. To me, that was going to be the biggest play of the series because if they got a first down after that, we, we saw what they did. You know what I mean? So I wanted to make sure we would get lined up, made the call that I wanted. You know, we made the call we wanted to make, um, you know, and, and, and letting everyone know what, what we were in, what we were doing. Um, you know, so ultimately for us, like that was to me, that was the ball game. We needed to stop them on first down. We, just, we had we needed to stop them from getting the first down. Um, so, you know, we, we talked about the plays they were going to run, we talked to coordinators, we talked to the players about what we were expecting. You know, we, we thought it was going to be a screen, and that's and that's what we got, right? And um, so, you know, for, for ultimately, we just didn't execute what we needed to do um, while, while knowing that it was a screen. Good good call by them. They went, they went screen, but threw it to the other side of the field. Um, you know, but, but hey, um, you know, I, I wouldn't have wanted it back. I mean, I wish I would have had all three back, right? But, you know, since we had that one, and at the time we called it, making it third and seven, third and eight, or whatever, I think that was a down and distance. You know, I think that's, you know, we, that, I think it was the right call. You know, because, again, if we they don't get it, then they're going to, have to punt, right? And then we get the football. And offensively, we're, we're used to being in a high tempo situation to begin with. So I thought, I thought at that time that was the most important play at the time to make sure we get ourselves lined up. Coach, off of UWA Sports. Boss, how you doing? We met, we met over the summer. Yep, absolutely. Question. So now you you talked about the alumni. You talked about the student nation. Like, how can you get the alumni's trust back in a football team going on after this game? After losing, you brag. Win. Huh? Win. And then I think even even winning, I still do a little more. You know, I mean, I, I, that's why I mentioned like we lost more than just a football game today. You know, there was there was there was a lot of, there was a lot of uh, respect for the for that streak. You know, there's a lot of things that that streak and in, 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 um, you know uh, that for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people that have uh, gotten themselves over the hump, get to this point. You know, respect at home. You know, I think a lot of a lot of things that went into that home that that home winning streak. You know, um, you know, and, and, and to have it in today, um, and the way to have the way we had it in, you know, not playing our best football, not taking care of the football, you know, that that that's 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 tough. That's tough to swallow, you know. But that's what it is, right? So now, how how do you get how do you get the alumni back? You know, you got to win. Right? You got to win. I mean, I, they gonna be mad at me. I'm mad. I'm mad at myself, you know. But um, you know, I, I think there's, you know, whether it's it's next few days or you know, or whether it's at the end of the season, you know, some tough decisions got to be made, right? We gotta we gotta. But again, I, I don't want to reiterate it, but I, but I, I just feel that you know there's a standard that was set here, you know, and I can I, I and I've been in Tallahassee for ten years, you know, and, and different times of my life, and, and, I, and regardless of where I was, I knew I, I know what the standard here is at Florida and and uh, and uh, you know and, and losing on home field, you know, uh, not winning the games we're supposed to win, not not being a part of any type of playoff any, t- any type of playoff talk, you know that that didn't happen these last two years, you know, and now it's not happening now, so. You know, again, I just think it's important that you know, again, yep, we gotta rally up, rally the troops, or whatever the, whatever the verbiage may be. You know, but uh, you, you gotta gotta get ready to win. Gotta get ready to win to play to play a Bethune team that you know when you looked at them in the beginning of the season. You know, you, you might not have thought the game was gonna be what it was, but you know, but Bethune's now. How you, I, you wonder how Bethune looks at us right now? You know, how how are they gonna see us? So they're gonna come in probably like Mississippi Valley, confident, thinking that they can beat us. So, you know, if, if we let them stay around, and they'll, they'll stay around and, 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 and compete and possibly beat us. But if we play the way we know, so the way we're supposed to play, take care of the football, um, you know, we, you know, we got a good shot. But, you know, if we play the way we play today, we could we could be in a, we could be in another tough press conference again. Coach, what was the, and then, uh, last question. For you, <laughs> what was the mood like uh, in the locker room when you left to come down here? Um, I, again, I was quick. I was in there quick. We prayed. Um, I always get the guys. You know, we come off the field and we do do a, we do alma mater and then and then come into the locker room, right? And um, you know, we we talked about you know as I mentioned, um, you know, there's a lot more loss today in this football game than we prayed. Um, and then I and then I let them go see their family. You know what I mean? I, so 
you know, I mean, you know, guys crying, you know, D Rich was in there. He was, you know, he was, he was highly upset, um, you know, but you know, I, you know, I, I just think the, the guys, you know, the, the guys that it's important to, they understand what was at stake. Um, and, and so, you know, not, not, I mean, not, not a happy group, uh, but, you know, uh, I mean, more, more, I guess, more disappointed than anything else. Uh, last question, sorry. Keith, and then last one for Marco. Um, obviously, you definitely have the questions about the offense. It's another game where we kind of failed to meet that standard. We know, you know, Rattler offenses really has an insatiable love for high scoring offenses and mm -hmm. goes all the way back to the Billy Joe era. Of course. But can you speak a little bit to maybe some of the things and some of the things that, we see that we can fix with our offense to maybe get it right as we can, you know, go into these last couple of games of the season. Well, I mean, I, that that part I probably need to look at film a little bit more to just just to look at. You know, you know, you 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 feel or you felt watching the football game. We probably could have, you know, we, we we I thought we did a really good job running the football. You know, and I, you know, at times when I, in the game I thought we could have continued to run the football. You know, um, but you know, but I, I got to go back and look at film and just see what may have happened. You know, and I thought I thought twenty three nine and twenty. Ran the football effectively when we just ran the football, you know, and, and I, uh, so, um, you know, 21 points, right, uh, against a team, you know, that, you know, for the most part, gave up a lot of yards, gave up a lot of points throughout the year, you know, and, and the 21 points, you know, we, you know, in a lot of games, especially in college football, 21 points don't win your games, right? So, you know, but again, I, I think when you, on that, on that specific question, you know, you got to kind of, Take a look at what the film looks like, see where we were at, uh, you know, but it just felt like on the field we could do what we could have done, whatever we wanted. And just we had turn over here, uh, you know, falling ball at the two. I mean, we, we, you know, we have a shotgun snap that we can't catch at a, at a, at a time of the game that is extremely important, right? So, you know, how, how do you fix it? You know, you, uh, you know you're always going to boil it on execution, but, I mean, I, you know, it's T, it was T.J. Lee snapping the ball to Daniel Richardson. We do that every day. We do that 50, 100 times a day. They only did it 50 times before that play, you know. So, but um, uh, you ask them to do it again, I'm pretty sure they would, we would do a good job, right? So, you know, but but again, ultimately, uh, when, when, when it doesn't happen the way it's supposed to happen, when, when it, it ain't nobody's fault except James Cozy III. I, I knew that when I took the seat. So, you know, that, that that's the, 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 the locker room attitude or locker room anything, how they felt. I told them, I, I told them that's on me. I, let me take it. Let me take it. Uh, and Because I know that that's part of the job. That's part of the understanding, you know. Um, but, um, you know, I think I think for the most part, as I, as I said earlier, we've got to be better. You know, there's a lot of people that that, that still on the table for me, and, and they deserve that. A couple people that texted me that, while I was in the office. I had to apologize to them. You know what I mean? Because that, that, that that's, not, that's not the expectation for this program. That is not the expectation. It's not, that is not... When given when I was given this opportunity, I'm blessed with this opportunity, that that was what was expected at this stage of the season. So, Last question, Tavon. Tavon. When we talked to uh, Mississippi Valley quarterback Ty Williams after the game. He said they were motivated because they were playing for their teammate that had passed. What carrot are you going to dangle out there for the team to let them understand the importance of a Florida Classic win? Well, you know. First and foremost, you got to talk about the history of the game. You know, you, you bring a lot of these guys in here that are transfers. Maybe they might not even know, you know, the importance of how important this thing is. Um, I, I, you know, I, I talk about the history of everything tomorrow. You know, we'll start with that tomorrow. Um, you know, obviously talk about our schedule, what it entails, um, you know, and the, the, the great coaches and the great players that have come do this game, you know, and that's and that's just a startup that we have to talk about it with them. Um, you know, and but ultimately, right, like you're, you're sitting in a situation where, you know we're, we're five and five, you know, and and I think for the classic we got to win that, but we we, we got to beat Bethune. I mean, there's, there's just so many different avenues that you have to, that that not just players, our staff right need to understand how important this football game is, you know. And I, I you know jokingly, and not, and maybe not jokingly, a guy told me that at one of the deals out here, I mean, you got to win homecoming, you got to win the classic, period, you know. And then again, that's something that was told to me, in other words, by secret. On my face, you know, but ultimately, you know, I, for us, I think obviously the, how big the game is, you know, and the situation that we might have put ourselves in against a football team that, again, maybe early in the season, didn't think they had a chance against us. Now they're feeling really, really happy about playing us right now. Um, so, kind of, again, get ourselves get ourselves to understand that we're a good football team. Uh, and, but, but while that's happening, you know, we got to make sure our guys understand the crowd is going to be there. 
the importance of this football game, the rivalry that 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 definitely this game's all about. You know, but, but on top of all that, you know, we got to win a damn football game because we got to win a damn football game. Thank you, everyone. We'll be back Monday. Thanks, guys.